Morgan Knoll here with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado, located about 30 minutes north of Denver off I-25. Today I'm bringing you an inventory trailer. This is a 2023 Cimarron North Star three horse gooseneck. So nice little setup on this trailer. We're not getting overly long on the floor, but still getting all your specs and stuff that you need on them in order to get the job done. But we'll start right up here up front. So we've got our adjustable coupler. So this moves up and down because we want to make sure you're riding as level as possible on that tow vehicle so we can be able to maneuver that and get you to riding level. Your safety chains, battery breakaway. Right now I've got it plugged into our battery pack and that is so you can see how the lights run on this. If you want to run lights on this trailer, you have to have an external battery source. So that's why I've got it plugged into that. You can plug it into your truck or if you wanted, to add a battery to this, we could easily get one added as well. So one nice thing that we do in turn with that adjustable coupler, we've been ordering in with the 53 inch gooseneck drop. So from here down to the floor. So that's gonna give you some extra play between those taller truck beds and the trailer. And that way, if you're going more off-road type stuff, going up and going over big divots and bumps and everything, you're not gonna be getting into your truck bed as much as you would if it was sitting lower. And then that way you're riding as level as possible too and still have enough play to get, get by. Underneath there, we've got our manual crank jack. We could easily get that updated to a hydraulic jack. Um, they could do it here right in our service department. Our guys do a really great job. And then over on the side, you will see the spare tire and that's a full size spare tire. So coming over here to the tack room, we've got our 42 inch door opening so this opens up 42 inches and then we actually have a swing out saddle rack so this is going to swing and sit right there so it's on a gas shock you saw how it came out it was pretty easy getting it in and out and then saddles you know be able to get them on here a lot easier than having to step up in the trailer so those are adjustable and removable you can add more if you needed more i know i've got more than three saddles for the three horses that i have so having additional saddle racks definitely comes in handy and being able to add them myself just helps out big time too. So that just easily goes back in. And then over here on the tack door, we've got our swing out blanket pole. So this actually comes out and that way it makes it easier to layer blankets on there, take blankets off if you wanna get multiple off or one from the middle, just makes life a heck of a lot easier being able to do that. Got a window up above, get that window open, get some airflow going into the tack room if you've got those sweaty, musty horse blanket smell going on. And then down below, we've got our brush box. And that brush box, me personally, I always keep my stuff that I use pretty often in there. So my brushes, my hoof pick, fly spray, liniment, stuff like that, that's easy to grab and I'm not having to go into the trailer and search for it and find it and stuff. So coming up into the tack room, we've got this step. So we added this step onto this trailer, makes it easier to get in and out of this tack room when you've got multiple stuff in your hand, you're carrying a heavy saddle, you know, anything like that. Just being able to have this wider, lower step just helps out with the ease of use and getting up into this tack room. So as you walk in on the floor, you'll notice rubber mats. So rubber mats on the floor that's a, a big one for me. I like being able to clean up easier than, um, you know, having the carpet all over the floor and stuff. So having the rubber mats, easy to clean up spills, be able to take them out, pull them out, and clean this trailer really good. So you'll see right here, we've got a full width boot box, and that opens up on both sides. So you can get those open, have some extra storage space in there, and you're able to use it. And then doubles as a seat, and then triples as a step to get up into this gooseneck area. So up there, just some extra storage space. If you're in a pinch, you can easily throw a mattress up there, a cot or something, and sleep up there if you need to. Got some windows that can get you some airflow coming through the trailer as well. And then over here, you'll see we've got a shelf with the brush, or sorry, with the clothes bar down below. Um, so that shelf does have a little bit of a lip on it. So you're able to put stuff in there and hopefully it's not gonna go flying all over, depending how crazy of a driver you are. Um, might go flying all over a little bit, but that lip's gonna help keep stuff in place and keep it stationary up there. And then the clothes bar down below, be able to get your stuff hung up, your show clothes if you got some. Um, I put it, my polar wraps on there, that's where I hang all of them. Just overall ease of use there. 
Over here on the partition wall, we've got it fully carpeted, and then we've got two sets of bridle hooks. So having that carpet behind the bridle hooks is going to help alleviate some of that swishing and swaying that bridles will do while in transport. And so in turn, keep your trailer in good condition, keep your bridles in good condition as well. And then right behind this saddle rack in this dead space, we've actually got a uh, 35 gallon water tank. So uh, be able to bring water from your house, bring it from your home, make sure your horses and animals are still drinking while you're on the road. Or if you're in an emergency situation, you're stuck on the side of the road, at least you know you have the capabilities. Hopefully you fill it up before you leave, have water on board, and that way you can you can bring it with. So coming over here to the hip side of the trailer, we've got an LED light up above. So that comes in handy big time when you're trying to tack or untack in the dark, is being able to see ease of, ease of mind for you and the horse. And then we've got our bus windows. So these open up part way, and that way I can pick and choose how much airflow is going through this trailer for the horses. So um, be able to, you know, open them um, part way in the morning, like morning, like this morning, I'm bundled up, is kind of chilly. But as the day progresses, it might get a little warmer out and you might want to open these a little more. You can do so from the outside. You just have to make sure they are unlatched in the inside. We've got our three ties down below. And then underneath this trailer, we're sitting at two 6,000 pound Dexter torsion axles with our 16 inch aluminum wheel. And those are nitrogen filled wheels too. So um, with that nitrogen, you're going to be getting uh, running cooler, running steadier PSI level wise. Mornings like this morning where it's colder out, my truck it freaked out because it said there's low air in my tires. But as they warmed up and we started driving, it got warmer. So that nitrogen is going to help prevent some of that from happening. Um, the other nice thing, if you do have a slow leak, you can easily put normal air in them and they're not going to do anything to those tires. So Cimarron trailers, they've got the strongest upright posts on the market, strongest flooring on the market with the center every four inches. And then we also come standard with that half inch thick insulated honeycomb fiberglass roof. And that roof's actually got an R3 thermal value on it. And that's a little more heat regulating. So warmer in the winter, cooler in the summer. And then it's also got Denton hail resistant up to about a golf ball size hail. So that was a big one for me. I actually, I personally have this exact setup of a trailer and absolutely love it. Um, just having all those features that Cimarron comes with just helps out big time. So down here, we've got our rubber mats on the floor. And then when these go over to the side, we had it rinsed out, so there's some water on it, but um, fully one complete solid floor. So with these, we recommend our customers before putting a horse in the trailer, Go buy one of those big bags of baking soda from Sam's Club or something like that and sprinkle it underneath the mats on the floor. And that baking soda is actually going to help counteract the acidity in the urine and it's going to help keep your floor in better condition and in turn just keep your trailer in good condition too. So on the rear here we've got our 60-40 door opening. So 60 on the right, 40 on the left. So you're able to actually have this door closed close it up real quick if you've got your seasoned seasoned haulers or loaders or horses that get in trailers often you can easily get them in that one side right now I personally have some young horses so I open up both sides and make sure they feel like they have plenty of space and are able to get into the trailer easier so having that flexibility of doing it that way just is a nice feature on these Cimarron so coming up here into the trailer we've got our two dividers the front one is going to be a full length stud stall. So that goes down all the way to the floor. So having that be able to go down all the way to the floor, for me, if I'm only hauling two horses, I'll use that as a storage stall. So I'll keep hay in there. I'll put my wheelbarrow in there, my grain, whatnot. All that stuff can fit up there and it's not going to slide back underneath the horse's legs and have them stepping on it. Or if you have a stud or someone that likes to step on its neighbors when you're hauling, um, being able to have that full width or full length stud stall just helps prevent some issues from happening with the horses. Up on this right side, we'll see some LED lights. So those are super, super bright. When it's dark out and you flip those on, you're able to actually see in here and you don't have to get your phone flashlight out. Trying to get your horse to load in the trailer, just having the lights comes, comes in handy big time. 
The other nice thing, I don't know if you noticed, I open this divider and it slides all the way to the wall and sits over on that side. So we added just a few extra inches to this end so that way we could get that full divider and not have to have one of those telescoping ones. And then you have that capability of pushing these over to the side and getting them out of the way to get horses loaded on. So then right here, Cimarron, they do a really nice job with their latches for their dividers. I, I absolutely love them when I'm loading horses, especially the young ones that aren't too comfortable with the trailer yet. All you gotta do, you know, push a hip over and then push your own hip over and that latches into place. It's gonna keep your horse in there instead of them coming out and coming back at you while you're trying to get a pin into place. So being able to just hit that with my hip, that was a big one for me um, on getting the trailer and looking at different trailers. Got roof vents up above, so there's three roof vents in there. Those push forward and push back. So you can push them forward and they'll help drag that air in. Push them back, they'll help drag that air back out and keep that airflow going over the horse's head and backs. And then right here, we actually have our light controls. So these are for the stall area lights and then your exterior lights, one on each side of the trailer. So coming over here on the head side of the trailer, we've got our drop downs on all three stalls and then our escape door on this front stall. So these drop downs are really easy to maneuver and really easy to get going around. So they pop into place. So that way they're not gonna be slapping against the trailer while you're driving. They're gonna be sitting here in that stationary position. And then the other feature I really like is that you can pop this up and pull these jail bars down. And that way, if you're going on a longer haul, you wanna check on horses, offer them some more feed, offer them some more water, stuff like that, you're able to easily do that without the risk of taking a horse off the trailer and them getting loose or something happening. Then the other nice thing about these windows, you've got the bus window in here. So if you just wanted just a little bit of airflow in the morning, you can easily get that bus window open, get that airflow still going through the trailer and not freezing out your horses. So here's our escape door on this first stall. So that's what I was talking about when it comes to storage stall. You can access it from the outside and you're not having to take horses off the trailer to get to anything if you are to use it as a storage stall. Or if you've got a horse that is very weary about loading and you're trying to get them used to it and you've got two people and somebody's got to run out this way and close the divider behind them, you can do that too. It helps you get out and get out of the way of the horses. And then in this store, we've got that drop down too. So your horse still gonna get that airflow that they want and need in the hotter months, be able to get that down. So drop down on all three stalls. And then the other thing I really like that Cimarron does with these escape doors, they double latch them. So if a horse is playing around inside and ends up getting this unlatched, as long as you have this one latched, they're not gonna be able to get that door open and be able to jump out or something. <laughs> um, so this trailer, we are sitting at 610 wide. We're sitting at 7'1 tall. And then we have an on the floor length of 17 feet, nine inches. So overall, you're not getting super long on this trailer, but you're still getting everything that you need in order to you know, get around and get around pretty easy on it. So Cimarron's will come with an eight year structural warranty, three year hitch to bumper. So really nice warranties on these trailers as well. And then our tires, the tire line head warranty comes with a one year, no excuses guarantee, a two year complimentary roadside assistance, and then five year warranty on the tires. So stock number we've got on this unit is gonna be 5N211931. And that's 5N211931. It's a 2023 Cimarron North Star three horse gooseneck. So if you guys have questions on this trailer, any other trailers you see on our website or on our lot, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can call or text me at my cell phone and that's 970-218-5996. Call me at my desk phone at 303-684-3451 or you can shoot me an email to Morgan and that's M-O-R-G-A-N dot null k-n-o-l-l -L, at transwest.com if you click link below you'll go to this trailer on our inventory web page and then you can also browse our new and used inventory there i look forward to hearing from you and look forward to doing business and i hope you have a great day